Hello, everybody. I return back for another SimCity 4 Let's Play with me, X-Ray. Picking up back in our city after a few days of a delay there. I apologize, everybody. There was... Um... There was some st st stuff. Uh, the uh, birthday party. Um... <laughs> the Network Adam Mod version 31 just released. And... Uh, th yep, yeah, th th those are my reasons. Those are your reasons. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's escape this sh <laughs> giant cloud of death this time before it, before it catches up with us. Straight away, I want to jump in, and we're, today we're going to discuss an interestingly unique problem today. One that I tried very fervently to correct uh, before I shot the episode, you know, because I didn't want you guys to have to see all the problems. I want you to see the results, right? That's, that's kind of the idea. But this is this is a, a problem that ultimately I've, I've decided... I don't have a solution for it because either A, it doesn't have a solution for it because it's just a flaw in the game's design, or um, I've just forgotten how to do it and I've tried researching it too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not lazy, in theory. <laughs> in theory, I'm not really lazy in practice. I'm, I'm quite lazy oftentimes, guys. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I tried fixing this uh, by doing some research online and I could not find any specific information about this problem. I found a lot of um, secondary issues that are sort of related to it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Remember earlier in a previous episode, I was talking about how uh, how we had like 9,000 people coming in on this avenue, but only 2,488 plus some pedestrians that are crazy. I don't know why they're walking that far. They appear to be walking into our city. So where did all those other Sims go? Well, as I recall, as 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 I've determined, you only have about 10% of the Sims. Um, from another region can come into your city, I believe. Scratching my head on that one, guys. I think that might be the case, which would explain why so many of them are not actually coming into the city. It's because the game built in such a way that that won't happen. But I'm not sure if this is screwing up with the jobs, because here's the problem I'm having, right? Take a look at this road here, this highway. I have a lot of buses. <laughs> Jeez, we have a lot of buses coming in, right? But no car traffic. This is really odd. Why are there no cars coming to work here? And take a look at this. Workers, none. Excuse me? <laughs> a building with, with 4,000 available jobs has no workers going to it? And you'll notice that is an endemic problem in the city. There are many uh, workers not working in any of these jobs. And at first I thought it was because the Sims from outside the region, such as from here, or over here from Junyan Harbor, we're not able to get into the city or something like that, but that is not the case because I went on a huge tangent, uh, an experimental tangent, and I went and tried to to build all those connections and bulldozed things and tried all kinds of different stuff, and in the end, I couldn't get any workers to come work in these jobs. I'll be honest with you, I'm really not sure why. I think it's just one of those quirky SimCity 4 things that you'd have to work around. But the thing is, it doesn't matter <laughs> that there's no workers in there. The building is still fine. It is not dilapidated. So as far as the game is concerned, it doesn't matter. It's just my OCD. Oh, man, not seeing workers working there and not seeing cars going and working in this area drives me nuts. Guys, oh, it drives me nuts in a way you can't possibly understand. <laughs> oh, it makes me so angry, but, but it doesn't matter. So we have to move on, so... After determining that we only get a certain percentage of people into Topia Prime, what I realize is that we really need to create more jobs in these other cities. More local jobs from the work in. So an educated peoplesville, uh, and I also use this as an opportunity to try out some new stuff. Take a look at this crazy thing here. This is a six lane with turning lane <clears throat> avenue, which is part of the network widening mod, which is a very nice mod. Uh, and it is included with the new version of the network add-on mod. It's just a base component now, whereas before it was you had to sort of download it separately, and I didn't have it before. Uh, but I decided, but you know, now that it's included with the network add-on mod, it's included. <laughs> so you may as well install it and use it. It's all prepackaged and, and easy to use, and it's it's quite nice. You know, I got this. Uh, I just zoned for a lot of high density in here, although a lot of high density has not sprouted up here. In theory, in the future, maybe. And more will sprout up here, and this giant massive road will make more sense then. So you see, we added a lot of a lot of commercial jobs, like a 
over 10,000, I think, to this area. Let me expand it a little bit. You know, I expanded the suburbs up a little here. Had an unhigh density building there. Not too many. Like, this is not supposed to be a super high dense area, right? But they needed more jobs. So I gave them more jobs. There are a lot more jobs. And to help track all those jobs, I downloaded this. It's a little tool that I had forgotten about that I've used before that is very handy. It is called the Census Repository. And it gives you a whole bunch of technical spreadsheety graphy stuff that tells you all kinds of things about how many jobs are in the city and how many sims are there and how many people are working and all that stuff. I'm not going to go into into depth of detail, but just know that it is a useful tool once you learn how to use it for determining how many jobs are in your city and how many of those jobs are being filled, etc. So for the meat, the meats, we've discussed a lot of the potatoes of this episode. Let's get into the meat of the episode by actually going and doing something. Imagine that. Doing something in a Let's Play. Wow. It's, it's far-fetched. What is this crazy doing that we're talking about? So, remember, there's this looks like, what? There's some crazy number, like, yeah, 7,000 people. I'm sorry, 9,000. 9,000 people are supposedly traveling into the next region, of which only maybe 3,000 actually make it through to work in the city. So, we need to provide a lot more jobs for these poor folks. And I figured this would be a good chance to take a small break from Utopia Prime, which is giving me a migraine! No, not really. It's not as bad as I'm making it sound. But, uh, you know, to, to, to do something a little different. So, let's play around with some of the new tools, right? Let's show off some of that cool new stuff that we got with the new Network Add-on mod, which is a great mod. You should absolutely download it if you do not already have it. I deleted a lot of my old stuff that is redundant that the network add-on mod now includes. Let me show you some of the stuff that I like the most, though. Um, for one thing, look at these cool new streets that you get. You get, uh, let's see, like for example, some streets that would that I recall from my hometown actually would be like this. And then what you do is you drop it down and then you can click, well, not that direction, but you can click and drag it like this. And it works just like a normal street, except that it's colored differently. You see these kinds of streets in America, um, and certainly in other countries as well, like in Europe. Most often in old cities, right, where the roads still have this sort of design. This looks a little ugly, but I'm not going to get rid of it because... Oh, look, it even, oh, it even zones them automatically for you. That's so cool. I like that a lot. Does that mean that I can... Yes, I can, in fact, drag it this way now. You have to forgive me, I'm a little new to some of the uh, this stuff. Okay, I promise this will be the only horrible obnoxious screen. Just that one. It was already gridded that way, so we may as well just leave it that way. Where else can we add, guys? What can we add to this city that would be nice, quick, easy, but nice looking? Um, how about over here? Why not? Another th thing that I kept forgetting to use, everyone, that I really should have been using would be something like these wide radius roads. Let's see, no, shift tab back. Sorry if my mouse clicks are a little loud today. And you can flip it around like this. This is called a, f a flex road, I believe. It's kind of weird looking, right? It kind of bends a little bit. Do not create a neighbor connection. We don't want any more of those. They've created enough problems for us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's drag a road over here. And we got this nice little curvy section bit here. And to add a little bit of extra flair, let's do a road that is not 90 degrees. I think it would be a 45 degree angle, yes? Like, right about there. Alright. You guys see what I'm you see what I'm going for here? Does it make sense? I don't know. Oh, I just don't know. I don't know if anything I do makes sense anymore. <laughs> And by the way, guys, I did I did hear what you guys had to say about SimCity 5. Um, you are obviously very passionate on the subject. I do not blame you. Um, and I wanted to reiterate, in case it wasn't clear, that uh, I do not intend on stopping my SimCity 4 Let's Play, just because SimCity 5 is coming out. I do intend to play SimCity 5, nevertheless. But um, it is not going to usurp or replace my SimCity 4 Let's Plays. Never was, I never intended to, and that is not the case not the case. It's not going to happen. You don't have to worry about that. Because um, I fully realize that it is a completely different type of game, right? It's... SimCity 4, I think, is always going to be the artsy game. It's always going to have more... 
got more aesthetic things that you can do with it. SimCity 5, it's an okay looking game, but I'll be honest, it looks a little bit faded for, it, for the year that it's being released in. But I guess that's the graphic style they want to go for, guys. I don't necessarily agree with it, as do m many people, of course, but nevertheless, that's what they're doing, and it's kind of hard to argue with them because it's their game and they're going to do whatever they want with it, right? So, so it's a, to hell with us if we don't like it, essentially, unfortunately. Um, this is looking a l I don't know, would you call this grid style? Eh, I don't know, it's right on the border of it. Let's just throw in some some plazas. Like so. Like so. And then so we did one every other spot. Now let's go ahead and do like open grass, small parks, a couple of those. And then and then for the coup de gras guys, of course, the small flower gardens. <laughs> Cause we like small flower gardens. We don't like to have to think. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward this a bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let it fill out. Any time now. <gasps> Did we forget again? I think we forgot again, everybody. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, never mind. It already had pipes. <laughs> Apparently, I future-proofed myself on, a, on this occasion. Always good when I do that, unintentionally, mind you. Let's just, uh, you know, do our usual tree thing. Fill out all the trees. All the trees! All the time! And I'm really curious to know, why did it plop trees on top? Oh... Oh, because those are parking lots, and then they technically can be filled with trees. You know what? I'm just going to leave it that way. <laughs> because why not, guys? Why not leave things looking hideous and ugly? Oh, wow. That was just a bunch of random development right here. Some really nice developments, actually. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, game. Thank you for that. So what else What else could we add while I, while I continue to ramble about SimCity 5? Um... Right here. Okay, I know what I'll do here. Um, so yeah, SimCity 5. Um, if I do do Let's Play of it, it's it's going to be parallel to this one. I'll be running them both at the same time. And the thing about SimCity 5 is, while I absolutely agree that it is a completely different style of game, I understand this, um, that doesn't mean it's not going to be fun. It just means that it is not going to necessarily be the game that everybody was hoping for. And I, I absolutely understand that frustration and that disappointment. Um... And it is unfortunate. However, like I said, that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy playing the game. I think. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. And if I, if I do end up... Uh, if I do end up playing it, you can be rest assured that... Oh no! We ruined it. We ruined it, Bob. We ruined it. Who's Bob? I don't know. I just... I just this seemed like something that I should be speaking to someone like. I ruined it. X, where X is the name of a person. Okay. Okay. That's my excuse anyway, guys. I hope you buy that one. Let's just get rid of this. And let's recreate it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't like that. It never does. Real Highway Mod, guys. It's a fantastic mod, but I'll tell you, sometimes it's very, um... Oh my goodness. Just get rid of the whole thing, then. Good episode, guys. Good episode. I'm glad we... I'm glad... <laughs> glad we... Unsuitable grade for construction. Of course it is. Of course. So, yeah. So, SimCity 4 is always going to be the game that I would come to when I want to be creative. When I want to create something very beautiful looking. Something very modern looking. Because certainly... Certainly this game is that. Right? Uh, it, the game looks very... Very realistic. That's what I'm trying to say. The game looks more realistic than SimCity 5 possibly could. But in SimCity 5's credit, it is only just being released. And to be fair, guys, it could you never know. It could it could it could improve. Because there might be perhaps there will be mods for it. For example. Maybe that's a little hopeful. <laughs> you know, we are talking about an EA game here now. EA is not exactly known for supporting the modding community at all times. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? But, but it could happen. So I guess that's what I'm saying. It could happen. And the mods could drastically change it. Perhaps. 
problem there, of course, being that um, if there are any mods for that game, they're probably not going to be out for a long time, to be fair. If at all. Right? If, if at all. EA's track record, not exactly great. They're a bit of a bit, little bit. A little bit. I'm, I'm separating my, my thumb and my forefinger apart from each other about a centimeter, as I say that. A little bit. They're a little bit greedy on that DLC, if you know what I'm saying, guys. If you know what I'm saying. That DLC. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if they squash the modding scene for SimCity 5 just so that they have a way to sell you DLC. Because after all, if a bunch of people create free user-generated content for the game, then how do you sell DLC when people can get the same, you know, style of product completely for free? Obviously, you don't. So, I could see that happening. I could see them really squashing the, the, the possibilities for modding on SimCity 5 just so that they can sell as DLC. I wouldn't put it past them, guys. I wouldn't put it past them. I'm hopeful. Crossing my fingers that, uh, that they don't do anything quite that... Uh, Quite that vile. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Um, the one thing I do like about SimCity 5, though, everyone, is that it looks like it has is a more it's a more goal oriented game, which again is is a SimCity uh, is a follow up to the SimCity franchise. That's not too exciting. I'll grant you that. However, as a game as an experience to be had and shared, there's still potential there, right? Because it's much easier to make goals in that game. It's easier to be like, we're going to make this style of city. Uh, it is going to be, you know, a specialist city that does this or that. And it'd be easy to make a Let's Play around that, I guess is what I'm saying. However, that Let's Play would not be the same style or type of Let's Play as we have here on this Let's Play. It'd be completely different types of Let's Play. And that's okay. Guys, it really is okay. It's okay to be a little different. Sometimes. So there we go. There's our, our new things making use of, well, things that we had access to before 3.1, 31, version 31 rather, of the Network Add-on Mod. Real quick before we end the video, let me show you one other cool thing I really liked. You saw it in the other city. It was this. As soon as I find it. Oh, where is it? There it is. Network network mining mod. So it works just like the real highway mod in that you... you uh, Let's find a good spot first. Over here, I think. I think they'll create like a commercial thing here, maybe. Oh, God. Oh, where should they do it? Oh, guys, I don't know. Oh, let's just put it over here for demonstrational purposes. <laughs> so you can, you can get like these... Um, the one that I used over there was the seven lane with turning. Yes, it was this one. So you plop it down. It's a starter piece, and then you, you drag, click and drag roads like this from it. See, and it just creates a really extra wide avenue, basically, that takes up three slot, uh, three spaces instead of two as normal avenue. And of course, um, I would assume it has higher capacities. I didn't read anything that says that it does, but it would be silly if it did not. So I'm sure that it does. And um, I'm absolutely going to be trying to look for cool places to make use of this new mod, as I try with all my mods. So that's that's about it, guys, for today's episode. Sorry, again, it was a little light on content, but I felt like I had a lot to talk about in relation to SimCity 5, because it is coming out very soon. So it is on everybody's mind. Again, I'm still going to be running this Let's Play. It, it uh, is a completely different style of game. It is... Um, a more of an artistic experience for me. I feel like I'm designing real cities in SimCity 4, uh, like we see here. SimCity 5 is not going to have that, guys. Have you seen the graphics for it? Well, they look crisp. They're also very cartoony and not that realistic. So the cities, um, I'm not going to be playing that game for the artistic aspects. I'm going to be playing it uh, for just because it's a game, for the game aspects, right? For, for the gameplay, which may or may not be good. We will find out. Um, and if I, did, and if I determined that it's it would be useful to make a let's play of that game to show off that gameplay then I'll do it otherwise I won't I haven't decided yet so that's about it guys I'll see you next time when we will go back to Utopia Prime I will go ahead and fill in more commercial jobs uh, over here in New Kirk City and fill them out off screen and pro probably do the same for Endless Suburbia and also Junion Harbor so that the the jobs in the region are a little more balanced 
and then we will continue with Utopia Prime forward from that position. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and watching the videos and you know if there's if there's anything that I'm screwing up on you should never never feel like you can't tell me because uh, I I'm totally fine for any type of feedback. I love feedback. So I'll see you next time guys. I'll see you next time and and uh, and enjoy enjoy your weekend.